Sean has the inside. Taru taking the long way round, and that's not going to work. Momentarily just gets into that position, but doesn't hang on to it. There's the race leader. Last lap. Yeah. Tony Caroli, top of the podium. Red plate going back onto the front of that bike. The Sicilian assassin. He came, he saw to Mallory Park here in England, and he's conquered. I'll tell you something, that track's even rougher for the last MX1 race. It is, those boys are going to... Uh, I think it's going to play into the hands of some of the sand specialists, like uh, yep. certainly Ken De Dijker. I mean, Ken came from a bad crash and came right through the field, so... He was uh, literally about third at the back to start off with. Philip Barks was actually last. Yeah, just look, though, at the style of Tony Caroli, the way that he... Uh, he skims his bike over the jumps, checks, check, looks back now, checks to see where uh, second position is. He's deciding whether he's going to do some styling over the jumps. Do you think he's going to do a, oh, uh, do a knack knack or something? Oh, he'll do something. Step over something, knowing Tony. Or a whip. He'll wait to that second, that last tabletop before the finish. And he'll, he's having another look. He knows the British fans are here to cheer him on, as well as our own boys. He'll, oh, step over. And knack knack, as they, yeah. <laughs> they call it. Jeremy McGrath uh, painted yeah. that uh, manoeuvre. Something going on behind. Sounds to me like Saudi Mayor got Ratterite. We're not seeing it on camera, but it sounds like... Whoa! Oh, that's radical. That's what he was looking for. He said, how about that? That's it. A big punch is the air with delight. He's, uh, he's well pleased with that. Yeah. 